What is up, everybody? Who's seen Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? If y'all can hear King laugh in the background, that's why. Because he knows what it's off of, but... I know I told you guys that I was going to start weekend vlogging, but I decided to weekly vlog. Just add bits and pieces of my day in there. Today was a pretty hectic morning or night, so Brian and I didn't go to sleep till 1 o'clock, almost... 1.30, almost 2. And then I hear King screaming in the middle of the night at four o'clock in the morning. So I go in the room and I realize Bryson is up on his tablet. How he got his tablet back, I don't know. And King is laying in the bed, butt freaking naked. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is going on in here? So I had to deal with that at four o'clock in the morning. Then I went back to sleep for an hour, had to get up at five to take Brian to work because I had to keep the car today to make it to Ethan's school before 11 to pick up his Chromebook for, for the first uh, month of school. Because his school is doing it the first month, everybody's online, and then after Labor Day, they get to decide if they want to go back. So Ethan's first day of school is actually on, next is actually next Monday. So yeah, so that's what we decided. That's what we're doing. So I didn't get to do my workout. I already did my cleaning and I did my Bible study today. So. Now I'm about to work out and I need to hurry up and work out because I made the boys I made the boys and I a pizza from Costco that we part purchased. You'll know if you watched my Costco haul from last week, but oh my Lanta. I'm so hungry, so I need to hurry up and work out. I had to wait. All right, y'all, I'm done working out. King has been screaming. So I'm about to go get King down and then I'm gonna take a picture for Instagram. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey guys, I promise I didn't forget about y'all, but after, what was the last thing I showed y'all? I think that I was making the boys pizza and then I worked out and then I was gonna eat. Well, I ended up editing and then making a lot of inserts for other videos. So I did that, imported a lot of footage, and then I got my clothes in from Shein today, like I told you guys. Ended up filming, doing all of my try-ons for that, and then I just filmed the actual haul part, laid on the bed, did all of my screenshots that I needed to do so you guys could see prices. So now I'm just gonna hang up the clothes and then I'm gonna make me and Brian some dinner. It's our favorite, most delicious quick dinner that I think even the boys are going to eat. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys, you know, just 
time lapse me putting up the clothes, I guess you could say. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to the dollar store. I gotta get Bryce into some diapers before, I mean King some diapers before I head to, or before I start cooking dinner. I gotta go to the dollar store to get him some diapers. I was debating on going to Walmart, but Dollar General's right up the street from the house. So I'm gonna go pick up some diapers for King and then come back home and cook dinner. It's currently 6.30, so gotta hurry up, but luckily I'm just making the pot stickers and ramen so dinner won't take that long to cook so see you in a minute they have super cute decorations and the only reason i ended up in this aisle was because i was trying to find brian a new jug because his broke again but the only one they have is this one and it's nowhere near as big, so until I can find him another one or have the time to go to Marshall's and TJ Maxx, I'm just gonna let him have mine. So, yeah. But the decorations are so cute. So, obviously, I got more than diapers, but I kept the receipt because I don't know if Ryan's gonna let me keep this bookcase. But as I was telling you guys earlier, I can't remember, but I really wanted a shelf to make my workout corner look really nice. So, oh, it's gonna be, well, let's see what he says, but that was only 20 bucks. And it was like the last one. And then I figured we could just get future bedroom furniture that matches the shelf. So keep your fingers crossed. He lets me keep this y'all. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how I make our favorite dinner. So tonight I'm actually using chicken noodles just because we haven't had it with the chicken i always make it with the beef and then we've had these for a while so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these these are actually really good they're just a tad bit spicy so i'm gonna make two packs of those two packs of those and then these are the pot stickers that we throw in there and i always boil the pot stickers first for about four to five minutes and then i add in the noodles because these take about six to eight minutes but to um cook thoroughly and then you guys know these take about five minutes to boil and we actually have an induction stove i think that's what it's called but the stove where it boils stuff super fast is what we have so as soon as that heats up i'm going to throw the pot stickers in there Okay, so now that the water's boiling and it's literally only been like five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add like 15 pot stickers to this. Five for each of us tonight and then five for Brian's lunch tomorrow. And then we just let those boil. Okay, so these, like I said, only take about six, six to eight minutes to cook the pot stickers. So they've been in there for about three to four minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the ramen in there and the pot stickers and the ramen can be done at the same time. 
right guys so this is just about done boiling and this is the point that i like my noodles at so i'm going to drain most of this water not all of it and then we will start adding the seasonings and then as you've seen i cut up a lemon because that's what's going to set these noodles off okay so like i said we drained a lot of like and i didn't have to drain a lot because most of it evaporated so now i'm going to add like just these little seasoning packets that came with the, i'm adding all the ramen packets by the way all of them so we are going to add all of these. And then this is the soup packet for the Samyang. Um, it's better if you cook it, but the water's still hot, so it's technically still cooking until it cools off. That's why I remove it completely from the heat. And then these have like the little carrot and green onion flakes and stuff like that, so. That's really good. If I had fresh green onion, I would have put it in the water to boil with it, but I didn't. So yeah, so now that we have that in there, just gonna stir this around. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the lemon juice. And a fresh lemon is best, not that store concentrate stuff. Fresh lemon is the best juice for this. And like I said, this took a total of 10 minutes to make because I started it at 7.22. It's now, well, I guess 11 minutes. It's now 7.33. So not only do you have an easy, fast, one pot dinner, not a lot of dishes, but this will be the best ramen you've ever had of your life. I love the Samyang noodles. So if you can find those, I'll pop a picture up on the screen right now. Get those, but regular O, Top Ramen, or whatever brand you can find will be great. Even if you have the cup of noodles, boil your pot stickers on the side, throw them into the cup of noodles, and I swear it'll be so good. But yeah, throw a little bit of cheese on there too if you want. Set it all the way off. And there you have it, the best bowl of ramen you will ever have. I'm gonna steal some juice out of this one for mine. How thick and soupy it is. Oh no, it's the Moon Stars. What is, this is Brian's lunch right here. Fidelity's Got our ramen ramen. You like these better than the beef? So now to doubt paternity of her two year old daughter. We're watching some court TV. We're just addicted to it right now. Yum. Good morning, guys. So last night after dinner, we just hung out, watched some TV, and then we came to bed and I did some reading and stuff. Showered, of course. So it is nine, almost just about nine o'clock. I think it's like 8.50. So I'm gonna get up and start my day. Today is laundry day because it's Tuesday. So yeah, I'm about to get up and just start my day. Hey guys, so it's now 10 o'clock. I was hoping to already have laundry done, but I had my cousin Jasmine come in because of some of the pants that I ordered from Shein didn't fit me but they did fit her they ran like a lot of sizes small she's like a medium large and i bought a 1xl and they were way too small for me because i'm usually just in flat extra large in pants but they were too small for me but they fit her like perfect like how the picture shows that they're supposed to fit is how they fit her so if you watch my Shein haul you know what pants i'm talking about but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and sort out the laundry. Like I said, I already wanted to have it done, but it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and get it sorted out. And then I'm going to work out. And then I'm probably going to get myself done up. And then I want to take, I need to take an Instagram post for today. So yeah, I'm about to sort this clothes out, get it in the washer. The boys are dressed. They're fed. I did the dishes. I got to throw trash and sweep. But other than that, like pretty much caught up with my daily chores. So let's go ahead and get this laundry started.
Okay, so I just finished getting all of the laundry taken to the laundry room. Started the first load. I'm about to get all the trash in the trash can. And then after that, I'm going to sit down, do my reading, work out, then throw trash, then get ready. So you guys probably won't see me until after I finish filming my Jesus Chats videos. So yeah, I will see you guys in a little while. Also, I need to take down meat. I'm going to put it in water because I want to make a crock pot meal and I need it defrosted before 2 o'clock. So I'm going to go put that in water now. Hey guys, so I don't even remember <laughs> what the last thing was that I showed you guys. But obviously I ended up doing my makeup. Ended up posting some stuff on Instagram. And remember how I was supposed to make a crock pot meal? Well, I failed because I fell at wife, wifelyhood and motherhood. But anyways, I found this recipe on the internet and i'll link it down below i added a whole bunch of my own seasonings like i told you guys earlier always season more than what a recipe tells you to season so this is just a cheesy chicken and rice casserole and i'm super excited but yeah that's what i ended up making so i'm gonna go try to finish editing this video record my two jesus chats and then brian will be home but we have to let that cool off because the kids will not eat the food while it's that hot so yeah i'm gonna try to finish editing this video real quick record my two jesus chats and then we're just gonna chill and go to bed like last night so i will see you guys tomorrow hey guys i know i really haven't checked in today but um yeah, it's been a kind of a busy morning. I just didn't want to show you guys my morning again because it's the same routine every single day. Wake up, brush my teeth, fix the bed, open the blinds, work out, do the dish or do the dishes, work, do the dishes, do my reading, work out, and get the boys dressed, get myself dressed, and then we go on about our day. The only thing different today was that I had to fold the boys' clothes and put it up because I finished mine in Brian's yesterday, but. I kind of, like, once I get the boys' clothes in the dryer, I'm like, okay, I'm clocking out for the day, and that's what I do. So today I've just been taking it easy. Um, I've been reading this book called Holy Hustle, this one right here. I really recommend it, and it's just really causing me to reflect on my life and, like, how much I'm working and stuff like that. So the one thing that I'm doing is I decided to, I, I'm either editing in one day or I'm filming in a day and I'm only allowed to do either spend an entire day filming like an entire morning filming or spend a morning editing so I've decided that my hours of operation for my little YouTube Instagram stuff are going to be Instagram will be all day because I need to take pictures but I need Brian or somebody to take but I need Brian today to take my picture for me because I want I don't know I just want him to help me I guess I don't know but yeah we'll see if he can take my picture for me today and then after but yeah other than that um I decided my hours of business are just going to be from about 11 to about 1 which is more than enough time to film or edit and upload so yeah that's more than enough time to do either one of those things and i'm those are my hours monday through friday so on saturday and sunday it's all family time from now on so that's why i decided to change the style of my vlogs from through from monday through friday i'll just vlog parts of my day and then unless i'm doing something really exciting on saturday and sunday or we go out of town again i'm not gonna vlog it so yeah so it's just literally weekly vlogs and then keeping saturday and sunday between me and my family and just being close so yeah those are some of the things that god's talked to me about within reading this book so i really do recommend you guys checking it out so right now i'm gonna grab myself a snack because it's barely 12 25 and we don't eat lunch till about 1 1 30 so i'm gonna grab a snack because i forgot to eat breakfast and take my protein shake but yeah i'm gonna grab myself a little snack and then um get my video uploaded and edit my thumbnail and then i'm gonna put the shelf together and then i'll probably watch a movie with the boys or read a couple of books to them or just go just teach them go over some flashcards and stuff so yeah i'll see you guys when i grab my snickety snack Okay, guys, so this is my snack before lunch. The I'm going to drink both of these. I know they look full, but they're both actually, like, kind of eaten because the boys get in the refrigerator. Hush! Because the boys get in the refrigerator and... Go to your room. 
but because the boys get in the refrigerator and get these thinking that they're their apple sauces and then once they taste them they realize that they don't really like them so i gotta finish these two and then i'm gonna eat one of these so yeah this one's pretty low and then this one's not all the way full either they're both about halfway because they realize after 3,000 gulps that they don't like them and then i find them around the house and then i put them back in the fridge so yeah mama always has to clean up all right guys time to put this together so here goes a whole lot of nothing <laughs>
double stacked the 30s and then the eights and the 10 the eights and the tens put the fives like that i need to scoot the fives over just a tad so then i used to have this all you need is love and mr and mrs together hanging up on either side of the mirror but that's been bothering me for a while so this works out perfectly and i feel like it's just a cute little nook so yeah i think that that is super cute Hey guys, so yesterday I really didn't end up doing much after dinner. I'll post a picture of it right now. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I post a lot on there. So for today's workout, I decided to go ahead and just rearrange my room because it'll, it'll include strength training. It'll get my heart rate up and things like that instead of overwhelming my body right now and trying to do a 20 minute cardio and strength training workout on top of rearranging my room. So yeah rearranging the room happening today and I think that's it so let's go ahead and start rearranging this room
Okay, guys, so I am officially done rearranging the room. I'm gonna stop my workout. So I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like, but I didn't move that. I was gonna move this dresser to this wall and then move my filming setup to where the dresser's at, but I was like, it'll be hard to watch TV from this angle. So I just left it there and slanted the TV. I made my little nook area, so just workout equipment because I'll literally be working out in front of the bed now so it's still not that far and if I want to sit down and read right there and then yeah so that's just how everything else is looking yeah so I really liked it I've been playing with the idea of putting the bed like this for a while now so I think that'll be good um but yeah I'm about to sit down and edit and start my work day because it's already 11 still got to drink my protein shake and then I just gave the boys their breakfast and then we'll probably eat lunch around one o'clock again. So yeah. Hey guys, so I'm barely doing everything that I would have did this morning. So like my reading, my writing, I'm barely about to work out and it's about 7.40. And then um, I did, this is what I do every week because this will give you the things to do. So every week, so I go down, I go in my little booklet and I write down all the scriptures for the next week. So I'm not constantly have to get on, get on my phone when it's time to sit down and then I get distracted by my phone. So I just go through and I just go ahead and pre-write everything for the following week. So it does stop on Friday and then it keeps going. Well, it does seven days and then it stops. So I do just write everything for this coming week and then... That's what I did, but now I'm about to work out and then after I'm working out, done working out, I'm gonna go get Brian and I some food. So yeah, I just wasn't feeling good today. I literally, I literally only got up today to um, do Ethan's open house on the computer. And then other than that, I just laid in bed until my mom came to drop off Ethan's school supplies for when he goes back next month. And then I ate, but my stomach just, just hasn't been right and I'm not sure what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna work out to see if that'll help. But yeah, today's basically pretty much over. So yeah. Hey guys, so I'm currently at Chicken Express waiting in line to get us some food. Ever, like I don't think this place ever not has a line like there's a car right there there's a car that just pulled up behind me and I'm pretty sure a car is gonna pull up behind them like this place is always packed their chicken is so good so if you ever come to Texas I don't know if Chicken Express is only local to Lubbock if you come to Texas and you find you a Chicken Express eat there their chicken strips are bomb their corn nuggets are bomb their fries you have to eat fresh they get a little wonky their fried okra is bomb and their fish is so flipping delicious just yum so yeah, that's what brian and i are gonna eat for dinner and then probably gonna go to bed and, or not because i need to do dishes i'll probably show you guys what's what ethan's school supply list look like and then show you all the stuff that my mom helped out with and then what we still got to get because that boy's school supply list was insane so where he goes is basically like private school education only it's public it's like a charter school because you have to apply there. You have to get accepted and everything. Yeah, so. Anyways, I'm about to order. So this is what their menu looks like. So I'm gonna get a number two and then I'm gonna get the two fillets. And it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> 